Hey everybody, so today we're going to be playing Fafnir. I'm working on a Fafnir dual montage. It's going to be good. But one thing I wanted to know about the bans here is that I actually banned Boxer this time. I feel like Fafnir, he's, he's very, very strong in late game. Like, he can beat most gods in late game. However, Boxer snowballs way too hard to let Fafnir get online. Um, I don't know if this is actually... Like, usually I don't ban Boxer. Even though Boxer is obviously OP, I would rather ban, you know, some of these gods as well. But, um... One thing to note about that matchup is that whenever Boxer ults, Fafnir can ult to kind of immune a lot of that damage. Um, but I just feel like Boxer will snowball way too hard since Fafnir can't really secure the buffs and he just won't be able to come online. Okay, and we're in game. We're against Ho Yi. All right, this is a. Okay, so Ho Yi does have late, better late game. Ho Yi's late game is one of the best for out of the hunters. So. We, if we hold out to late game, he might still win. However, Fafnir's late game, you cannot underestimate at all. Oh no, they nerfed Mage's Blessing. I don't know if it's, it's good on Fafnir anymore. You do so much less damage with it. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start tier two Bancroft. I think that I think that might be better. And we could go Sprint to immune the slow from his ult, or we could go Beads, or we could go Bracer. I think Bracer is the way to go, because late game, even if they get anti-heal, just being able to pop Bracer and get my cooldowns, Again, when I'm in dragon form, so very helpful. So let's just do that. They nerfed Mage's Blessing, man. Mage's Blessing made Fafnir so good because he could proc it on his one and two, and he got 60 extra damage. But since Fafnir's scaling isn't that high, you know, we don't do as much. You got it, my Fafnir? Hoi's oh, early game is really good too. However,. This clear isn't like crazy, crazy good. So, luckily we don't get out cleared, which is really, really nice because Fafnir always gets out cleared, you know? Try and get him to use as much mana as possible. He went, he went Hunter's Blessing rather than, uh, rather than Attacker's Blessing, which is even better because then, uh, we don't have the, we don't get pressured out too hard, you know? I was hoping I could hit him there too. I haven't really had to use any potions. So the downside to getting not getting Mage's Blessing is that our mana sustains really bad. That's mainly why we get Mage's Blessing, but also for the clear. But as long as we survive until we get Bancroft, chances are he's going to get red buff. Like, he's OU. He's going to get red buff. Whatever, right? Here, he's blocking my one, so we're just going to do that. That way we can still hit the wave. One, if your opponent, if you're playing Fafnir and your opponent is constantly blocking the wave, it's usually good to just kind of draw out the creep so that they can't, or just just hit them anyways and just let you some minions die to tower. Like there's not much you can do if they're blocking the wave, you know, because your hammer doesn't do enough to pressure them out. I have my ult now, which is very good. What you can do also is you can punch him. You can use your one, punch him, and then use your three on all the minions. But, I don't know, sometimes I've, I do that and I get put in a bad position. Like, if he ricochets me and I have minion aggro on me, it's not good. Okay, let's use some a mana potion. I think we're going to stay for one more wave and then either go for blue buff or just let him take red. I don't, I'm not too sure. Yeah, here. Here. I think he's getting ready to kill me. So we just, I just decided to ult. All right, here, here, I'm gonna go for my blue buff. He can have red buff. If I get blue buff, that's way better for me anyways. You know? Sleep's down, so hopefully he can't steal it. Hopefully he can't steal it. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with him getting red buff as long as I get blue buff. Okay, this is good. I'm um, Fafnir, if, you, if you're both even in gold, you're winning. <laughs> that's how I see it. Plus Fafnir passive. Like, I'm actually a little bit ahead in that right now. He's a faster passive, but it doesn't help that much. It helps a little bit, but not too too much. But if you're even, you're doing good. <laughs> Faster is one of the few guardians that if you're not getting kills, it's okay. As long as you're not dying. If you're getting kills, great. But if you're not dying, even better. <laughs> it's good to trade with Faster too, though. If you get a kill and you die, that's fine because that means you get to late game faster. But yeah, Fafnir's one... I say a lot of times on Guardians, you have to go for the risky plays in order to even have a chance 
On Fafter, no, you can play it pretty... Fafter's probably one of the safer ones. You can play Fafter pretty safe and be generally okay. Just as long as, you, as, long as you're not dying, you're doing good. Oh, nice. I missed. Great. Going for the poke on the one's a little bit iffy, because then you don't have it up for the wave, but it's not... What's the cooldown on it? 13.5? It's not too bad. It's not like 18 like some other Guardians. I missed again. It's really good to hit the wave and him, though, at this point. Right now, now we're now we're basically at the point where we just try to poke him out and then take a buff or something. Because we have a lot of sustain with blue buff. I missed again. I'm missing all these hammers. I actually have my hammer on instant cast um, because I just treat it as a basic attack. Like, when you're playing a hunter, you know, your base attacks are basically on instant cast if you think about it. Like, once you press left click, it fires base deck. It doesn't even show you the radius or anything. So, kind of treat... Kind of treat... I kind of have abilities that are in a straight line, just like that. Like, you see this ruler I have on? You can turn that on in settings. You basically use that as your targeter. That's why I use instant cast. My brother basically taught me that. Okay, if he leaves here, he's dead. Most likely. Because his escape is down, I stun him in this. Yeah, he's dead. If you, on Fafnir, if their escape is down and you hit them with the one ult, most of the time they're going to die, even if they have Aegis. The only time they're not going to die is when they have beads or if they're just super tanky. So that's a really good kill. So if you're going a, a tip against Fafnir, don't don't waste your escape. The second you waste your escape, Fafnir is going to use his one ult, which I guess you could use to your advantage if you want to bait out his skills. But Fafnir is honestly, he's probably one of my favorite guardians in duel. Um, just because he has so much damage. Okay, so here I'm actually going to level up my 1 rather than my ult. Because my ult's down for 70 seconds. My, no use in leveling it up if I'm not going to use it. And here I'm just going to level up my 3. Next level I'll probably level up my ult. So we're not we're not losing anything, but we're getting more damage with our other abilities. It's a little thing I like to do sometimes. I don't do it all the time, but when I remember. Just, Okay. That was a triple shot, and I didn't take that much damage. That's very good. <laughs> I took half my health, but for a triple bounce, I'll take it. <laughs> Dang. We must be pretty far ahead for that. Man. Because he doesn't have attack press. Okay. Give me that, too. Give me with both of them. I shouldn't be standing there. I mean, I know that he has a ricochet. Why is he laughing? I think I could maybe stay. Have my ult up soon. He's going to go for the ricochet. If I can dodge it with my three or something, we're good. I'm gonna try and three once he uses this one. <laughs> try and heal up as much as possible. I'm trying to stay in the ricochet areas to kind of bait him out, and then I'm just gonna leap over him or something. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, his two runs out in two seconds. He's in leap. Okay, why is he not leaping? He knows not to waste his escape now after last time. Oh! We immune did we immune that? Okay, our three is super, super far range. He's probably dead. Okay, he should be dead. Yep. Nice, nice. I missed the three, but that's okay because it just has so long range. I hit the one. I was relatively safe because his kit was down as well. Oh. Okay. Let's go get uh, Red Buff. Maybe I should have used my 3 in Dragon form. So what was nice there, when he ulted, I just immediately ulted. Because I was going to immune most of his ult damage. And then he couldn't ricochet me for that entire time. He could have ricocheted me when my ult ran out. But even then, his ult was almost over. And I probably would have been fine. That was smart on him waiting for the es for the escape. But he just he, ult he ulted when I hadn't ulted yet. If he saved it, maybe. Uh, we're going to save our relic. Okay, so on Fafner, you want to get a uh, max cooldown. We're going to save our relic to counter him. And core item on Fafner, I've talked about this before. Spirit of Mages gives uh, 65 penetration, 65 power. It's better in every way, shape, and form than no, Obsidian. <laughs> in almost every dual match. Because it helps you. Gives you 15 pen to take towers. Has more power. Gives you more pen. Unless they have like 3 defense. And it works great with other items. However, on Fafnir, you Fafnir, you would never ever go auto attack. So 
Because his, his alt doesn't... His alt doesn't proc out of deck items. Keep going for those ricochets. And I mean, it's working, but I have too much sustain. He needs that. Item. I think his mistake was going Hunter's Blessing. It just completely gave up his early game. Might be able to get kill him here. His escape's down. I oh, missed. He, re he recognized that uh, his escape was down. I was going to go for him, so he started juking him, which was smart. I could have hit him, but he juked pretty sharp. Sharper than I expected. And I missed. All right, we're out. A nice thing you can do on Fafnir 2 is you can leap away, and sometimes they'll leap to chase you, and you just ult. Turn around and ult them. Turn the turn around. I keep missing all of these ones. I'm, I'm usually a lot better at this. All right. He seems, he's trying to poke me out now with his autos, which is fine because he kills so much with being close. I am missing all of these ones. All right, I need to focus. I missed like four in a row. That is way too many. My sustain, it's so good. My mana sustain could be better, but my health sustain is top notch. Okay, stop it, your autos are annoying. Oh, I almost walked into that. He has good sustain too. So we're, after Divine Rune, we're, I mean, after Spear, we can get Divine Rune. Try and keep him from healing up. I wonder if he's gonna die. That was a that was even trade, except I lost too much mana. However, he's basically in range where I can just ult and kill him. However, his escape is up, which of course makes it so I can't. He knows that. Trying to stay out of ricochet range. Okay. He's probably gonna leap here. Maybe not. Okay, let's see. Do I have enough mana for my three? That's what matters. I missed! Oh god. I missed! I missed! I missed! Okay, we don't have no mana. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. I'm not gonna level up my three in case I get enough mana for it. To use it. Please, 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 please! Yes! If I leveled up my three there, I actually would not have had enough mana to use it. <laughs> if I leveled up my three there... Oh wait, no, it doesn't actually scale mana. Never mind, I did not need to not level that up. <laughs> I thought his three leveled up, scaled in mana. I thought that was a good play, but actually I would have killed him faster. Never mind. <laughs> I, I have a star on Fafnir and I had no idea his three doesn't scale mana. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna recall. I don't think I could take uh, red buff. I'm actually going to get one, one or two mana potions, just so that, that doesn't happen again. Okay, what relic did he get? I could have countered him. Okay, he got Bracer, which is good, because we're getting Divine Ruin. He went Yotans. Yotans is good on Hoi if you're ahead. Alright, I'm going to say it. It gives 20% cooldown, lets you have the, the Ricochet and 2 up way faster than your opponent expects it. There's basically no good time to attack Hoi. However, if you're behind... You have, don't have, really have any damage, and you don't have any attack speed. Only if you're ahead, I'd say it's good. Okay, what the heck. <laughs> I thought I made a good play, but then I realized Factor's 3 doesn't scale with mana. Honestly, how am I missing these? He is doing a lot more damage now, but he doesn't have that much pen. His auto attacks hits more than his 1. I hit pretty hard too, though. See, his one is coming up all the time. Which is pretty annoying. How did I miss that? Alright, we might need to alt here to immune. Might need to alt here. Okay, we're good. Maybe I can bait. If I alt right when he ricochets, puts us in a good spot. Oh, messed up. I messed up. I might be able to race her, I don't know. Oh wait, I hit him. Is he dead? <laughs> oh, okay, we're really far ahead now. This is good. This is good. And I've talked about this before, but Fafnir is the only one that can apply Spirit Mages to towers. If you look at my base attacks, with every base attack, I'm doing more and more damage to it. That's because uh, my two 
gives me more damage on whatever I'm doing. When it applies to towers, it's ability damage, therefore it reduces the tower's protections by 10 with each basic, which is incredible. I think it is working as intended. Fafnir is now the only god that can do it because they removed it from Thoth. So Fafnir is unique and cool, and if Iris removes it, I'll be very sad because it is working as intended. It is not a bug. <laughs> just, just so that you, you know this, Iris. Don't do it. It's it's working as intended. It really is. Okay, I could get Blink, or I could get Curse. I could get Thorns as well. I think we'll get Thorns. Thorns is great against Hoi. All right. So we have as much pen as we'll ever need against him. He still doesn't have a uh, defense, which is why our one and anything is killing him. One and alt will just shred him. He needs pen. I mean, he needs defense, but the defense isn't even going to help him. So should he even really get defense? Okay, so I, we have a few options here. I get gem viso. I could get Nemean. Um, both, I'd say, are equally good. We are ahead, so maybe the viso would be better. Yeah, he's probably dead. No pun is. He gets hit by this. Alright, but he doesn't have protection. Ah, uh, I missed way too many times. I'm missing a lot more on Fafnir today. I don't know why. You know my base tags without my two even shredding. By the way, Fafnir's... Uh oh. Uh oh. I messed up. Nope. I messed up. So bad. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not paying enough attention. That's, that's on me. Me being bad. But what I wanted to say is Fafnir's ult will not apply Spirit of the Mages. It will not apply Demonic. It will not like the base, the Dragon Breath. It won't apply Spirit of the Mages. It won't apply Demonic. It won't apply anything. Not even Gem Viso. But if you use your two, you're doing damage as an ability with it. Which means that it can proc Spirit of the Mages. It can proc Gem Viso. And I think a lot of people get that confused. But it will not proc demonic or telekines. If it proc telekines, I'd be busted. <laughs> Your middle tower has been destroyed. But that's pretty much it. Let's try to end. Let's just try to end. Like not end end, but we should just kill him and take Phoenix. Like. He, he's not going defense. I, all I have to do is hit my one and all. Even if his escape is up, I think we can kill him. Even if he's sitting in the pilot. Wow, that hit me. How is he juking that? How is he actually juking that? Yeah, he's dead. His H is so. So I don't know. Okay, never mind. He can do pocket. I'm uh, missing a lot, but his build... His build. I hate to... Okay, so sometimes when I'm playing, right, and my people will just say, oh, your opponent's bad, that's the only reason you win. And it kind of sucks that basically every win I get, people just say that, you know, because it's like, okay, well, I guess it's not me at all. But he really doesn't. He doesn't have any defense. He really needs defense. He's playing dual, man. He needs defense bad. But, like... That's one thing that bugs me a little bit. Like sometimes like I'll be playing against an opponent and they're actually doing pretty good. They're actually playing pretty well. And if I get a good player or something, it's more that just my opponent's bad. Also, I place the ward in the same spot. Rather than me actually being able to being the one playing good, I guess. Does that make any sense? Probably not. But I mean obviously I'm not Grandmaster, but if I'm playing a low tier guy, I'm able to make it work cons decently consistently. Consti Consistently, a, a diamond. Gotta be show something, right? Why are you not leaving? Is he out of range? He's out of range. Also, he doesn't have defense. Let's see about this. He doesn't have defense. I'm curious. No. That one heals too much. I probably got a bunch of damage off there. Yeah, my one did 1,000 damage. Okay. He's in lead, probably. Should focus Titan. Alright, we need we need to untransform soon. We need to upgrade our bracer as well. <gasps> Please! Oh, there wasn't one more tick. I thought there was one more tick. Alright, we gotta go. Unfortunately, all of Fafnir's kill potential is in his alt. 
Like, he can poke someone down, and obviously if they don't back, he can kill them with a nice 2-1-3. But I can't really kill him very easily without my ult. I can just I can get him down to, like, half health for so, but... Okay. If he st somehow stays in this game for long enough, I will solve the Gem Viso for an Indian. Gem Viso is great on Fafnir, but I don't think it's necessary. Because the only time you're going to use your ult, right, is when you do one ult. And that pretty much keeps them in it anyways. So, and then there are, the, you know, all of your abilities are stuns in your ult. It's, it's, you don't really need to slow them. Against against Ho Yi anyways, there's some gods, Gem Viso is necessary. Against some speedy gods. Hiding gods. It's nice as I can use my fingers. Yeah, I try to ult first. We can probably just kill Titan, honestly. He's playing way too fast right now. GG. Okay, so... Things I have to say about that game. He should have gone defense. The... The Jotuns, even though I think sometimes it can be good on Hoi to be get unexpected one and twos constantly, it's only good if you have transcends for the power, and then you get the ten percent cooldown as well. And if you're ahead, if you're behind, don't get it. You need defense. You need defense and duel. No matter who you're going against, you need at least one defense item, even if it's like a Shogun. Shoguns would have been fantastic for him, since especially with the Jotuns, it would have helped him with the attack speed. And like, let's say that, uh, let's say I did get double defense, his build, even though it was full power, he wouldn't have been able to deal, do anything to me. And if he didn't get defense, and he just went full power, I would have gotten him in. And then he would have just basically been killing himself. As well with my thorns, you know. But I love Fafnir and Duel, I'm working on a montage with him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let's see what rank, I think we're still plat 5 or something. Yep, plat 5. Plot 5. Diamond 5. I'm sorry. Not Thinks we belong in Diamond 2. Excuse me? Okay. <laughs> I've lost a lot this season, to be fair. But GG's all around. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I will... Re next, next game will be a Ymir game. So look out for that. Have a good one, everybody.